going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant all they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, you shudder inside. Oh, no argument there, Corey. That's why there have been so few WWE superstars who have ever had the guts to step inside the structure for a Hell in a Cell match. The thing that makes this so much more insidious than a simple cage match is there's no escape. The door is padlocked, and the only way out is by pinfall or submission. Or by stretcher, maybe, and there's always that. Big <laughs> kick right to the gut. Saw that one coming. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer. Looking for more damage here. Oh, release back suplex. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Oh, the stirring impact. Uh, is it possible to have a game plan as a competitor when you're embarking on a journey through hell? The competitors must resign themselves to the fact that doing battle in this torturous structure means their mind, body, and soul will never be the same again. He's not going to let anything stop him. Setting foot in the ring now. He gets sent down to the floor. There are so many iconic names attached to this sort of match. Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, the Big Boss Man, Triple H, Rikishi. The Rock, I can go on and on and on. How about that fateful night between The Undertaker and Mankind? Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Look at him seizing the momentum here. Yeah, he is being steadfast in his approach. Cranking the head. He must have seen that coming. Effective arm drag. Appropriately named, and that is just another example of why. He went right into that turnbuckle. You can see the anguish growing on his face. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. He steps foot in the ring again. Oh, he retaliates. <laughs> Saw that one coming. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Ooh. And now he's controlling the pace of this one. He can't allow himself to let up now. Return to the ring. First one missed. Second one didn't. Here it comes, Corey. Here we go. He reverses it. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Ooh, bad landed. Brutal series of kicks. Still going. Good grief. Oh. And the cover for the win. This is it. One, two. No, kick out at two. How in the world did he kick out?
Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Bad predicament right here. Oh, my goodness. This will not end well. A gorilla press right into the side of the cell. Enable the counter. Oh. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. He returns to the ring. A oh, kendo stick wrapped around the head. Oh, ouch. Shifts it back onto him. Able to avoid any harm there. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Into the turnbuckle. Countered it just in time. Reversal on top of reversal. Oh, what a wind up. I think we are witnessing a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. Oh. He's falling victim here to a charge of attack. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. And another counter. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Oh. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Caught square by the Haymaker. Inside the ring. Oh, running knee 